Sometimes people will try to make these distinctions that really are a distinction without a difference. Well, you know, God is love, but we just, you know, but, but His wrath is what He has, but He is love. Well, that doesn't work. If, I mean, on a philosophical level, it doesn't work, let alone if you look in the Scriptures, the, the four times that it says God is something, besides the ones here, the Lord is a warrior. You have God is love, God is light, God is spirit, and Hebrews says God is a consuming fire. So it won't do to simply separate, well, wrath is just sort of the, the, the underside of it. Yahweh is praised here for His wrath. Now, it is not wrath as you may know it in a human way. It is not peevish. It is not temperamental. It is not God losing His temper, flying off the handle. He was, after all, patient with Egypt for 400 years. He did warn them with ten plagues. It's not like the Egyptians messed up once and then God just, you know, buried them in the ocean of the Red Sea. He put up with them for centuries, warned them with plagues. So Moses and the people praise God for pouring out His wrath upon His enemies. It's amazing how so many people today love to talk about justice. They don't like the idea of God's wrath. But what is the wrath of God? except His justice realized in real life. God cannot let sin go unpunished. To turn a blind eye to sin would be to deny His very nature. It seems that so many of us, we, ha we have no problem wanting a swift, severe justice when it comes to criminals or when it comes to bad referees or when it comes to people who hurt us or when it comes to people who are making our lives difficult, we want to scream out to someone in control, to some authority. We want to yell, don't you see what's happening? You can't just let that go. You, you have to do something. How much more so with God as He looks down from heaven upon all of the sin and wickedness and unrighteousness on the earth. If we have a problem with the wrath of God... It is because we have underestimated God's majesty and we have overestimated our goodness. To think that the supreme God of heaven would have no reason to be angry with the sons of men, that He would not execute justice and judgment on the earth. 